The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 83. The Sunken Submarine. Survival Difficulty. Class 0. Safe, Secure, Passive Entities. Level 83 is the 84th level of the back rooms. Image Caption. Picture of the USS Ace of Spades, taken from outside of the ship. Description. Level 83 consists of a sunken nuclear submarine named the USS Ace of Spades, SSN-744, in the middle of what seems to be an endless ocean. The Ace of Spades lies on the ocean floor inside a rocky underwater valley, which bathometer evaluations have revealed is at a depth of approximately 600 meters, 1,970 feet. The submarine's controls are non-functional, but the appliances inside of the vessel, such as light fixtures and kitchen appliances, are in solid working condition. The nuclear reactor of the Ace of Spades is still operational, and, despite the wear on the outside of the hull, the interior remains intact. There are several refrigerators inside of the Ace of Spades that contain bottled water and several food items, such as sandwiches, pasta, fruits, vegetables, eggs, and meat. When removed from the refrigerators, the items will eventually restock, meaning that the Ace of Spades contains an infinite supply of food and water. Image Caption View of the Birth or Sleeping Area when entering level 83, wanderers will always find themselves inside the berth or the canteen of the Ace of Spades. The berth is a room that holds several empty mattresses that are free to use, and the canteen is a small room that contains only a leather couch, a few small metal tables, and a small amount of chairs, all of which are used by the inhabitants of the level for dining. While she may hold up to 140 wanderers at a time, it is encouraged that those who do not plan to permanently stay inside the Ace of Spades exit through the escape hatch, since the crew which operates in the Ace of Spades needs the space which these wanderers may take up. Image Caption Interior of the Ace of Spades the makeup of the Ace of Spades is identical to a Los Angeles class submarine, with one exception. The Ace of Spades has several windows on both sides of the vessel, which can be used for observation. There is no known real-world equivalent to the Ace of Spades, and thus, the Meg believes that she originated from the back rooms themselves. Through these windows, several species of fish commonly found in the Pacific Ocean have been documented, such as Pacific Salmon, Ragfishes, and Atka Mackerel. What lies outside the Ace of Spades has not been explored, as those who try to exit the submarine are transported to level 7 as soon as they spend more than 10 minutes outside. However, several rock formations and occasional flashes of movement can be observed through the windows. Nothing else of note has been recorded because of the poor visibility of the water due to its depth. Several crumpled notes can be found taped on the appliances and controls of the vessel. Each one depicts a crudely drawn image of a young girl in a dark blue suit who wears a purple pirate hat and an eye patch. The girl can be seen enacting various poses in the drawings, with a large saber in her hand, all reminiscent of what could be considered quote-unquote pirate-like poses. The drawings also have several stereotypical pirate phrases written around them, such as "ar" and Avasti mateys. Each drawing is signed under the name Kira. Along with these notes, a wide variety of differently colored post-it notes can be found around the level as well, each one containing instructions on how to operate the machinery of the Ace of Spades. These notes are also signed under the name Kira, Curiously, one note in particular stands out, as it was found on the outside of the vessel, instead of the inside. The note was not damaged by the water. It reads as follows. Playing pirate is boring now. I'm gonna go make a jungle or something. Might come back, but for now, just take the sub. I'm not gonna use it anymore. Have fun with it, I guess. Your big-eyed weirdo. Signed, Kira. P.S. Don't handle it too roughly, you might blow yourself up.
Not that I care, but still. The Great Observer. Image caption. The Eye of the Great Observer. The Great Observer is the largest known entity in level 83, estimated to be twice the size of an average colossal squid. It can be seen swimming throughout the nearby waters outside of the Ace of Spades. It can oftentimes be seen swimming in the waters that surround the Ace of Spades, moving around with such powerful movements that its body creates strong currents which cause the submarine to creak and shake violently. The Great Observer has a tendency to rub its serrated tentacles and arms across the surface of the submarine, which can cause the vessel to rock unexpectedly. When the Great Observer does this, it is recommended to stay composed and grab onto a steady surface. There has been no evidence that the Great Observer consumes meat, and therefore, it can be assumed that the entity is a herbivore. It appears to take pleasure in tapping the hull of the vessel sporadically, doing so rhythmically as if playing with a drum. It is also known to shift the submarine at times, although it never moves it enough to greatly disturb the nuclear reactor or the humans inside. The Great Observer appears to enjoy watching the inhabitants of Level 83 by pressing its gargantuan, 20-inch long eye against the windows of the submarine. Whilst otherwise passive and harmless, the Great Observer moves at frightening speeds, and its large eye appearing suddenly in front of the glass has startled several wanderers. Despite any feelings of unease it may stir up in wanderers, it is best to stay calm and continue as normal whenever this occurs. The Great Observer simply observes. Bases, Outposts, and Communities The crew of the USS Ace of Spades, SSN-744. Group varying in size from 20 to 100 members. Wanderers who live permanently in the submarine have supplies of food and water. Limited portions can only feed up to a hundred people. Friendly and open to trade. Accepting new members. We'll show you the exit if prompted. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Level 83 can be entered from level 7. When wanderers dive down to the point where light becomes scarce and water pressure becomes almost unbearable, they will pass out and wake up in level 83 in one of the beds. Many wanderers accidentally enter level 83 through level 7 while looking for an entrance to level 8. Exits To exit level 83, one must undo the escape hatch at the top of the vessel and swim out into the ocean. This will bring wanderers back into the water of level 7. It is not advised to do so without equipment or preparation, as wanderers must then be prepared to either find an exit to level 8 or swim up to the surface.